Hey there guys, uh, today I'm going to be showing you a piece of software that I have recently written. Um, it's my Twitter status at the moment, as you can see. You can always follow me on Twitter, it's uh, twitter.com forward slash Um So the piece of software today that I'm going to be showing you is a Blender render farm that I've written. So for those that don't know what a render farm is, it's a piece of software that will allow you to render one Blender file across multiple PCs. So say you have 10 PCs in your house, you can use all of the combined processing power of those computers to render one animation, which is obviously going to be a lot faster than using one computer to render your animation. After it's rendered it, it will save the current frame that it's done back to the server computer, and then you can compile it into an AVI file or your preferred video format. So to find the software, you can go to Portfolio on my website. Uh, my website is www.djgdesign.co.uk and once you get there you can click the portfolio link and you can click on C Sharp Programming and then click on the Blender Render Farm so you can download the Render Farm using this link here and follow the tutorial on here, the written tutorial or you can listen to me now and I'll go through how to set up this Render Farm so if we download that now and just save it on our desktop Close the browser and unzip the file. So if we extract it to the folder, and we'll just drag the folder over here. So in the folder, um, you will have two executables. One executable is the client. This piece of software needs to be put on every single computer you're going to be using as a client, uh, and this executable needs to be put on the server computer you probably want to use a, a fairly low spec computer for your server compared to the rest as it's not actually going to be doing any of the rendering although it can do um, so let's just open up the server program it has a nice GUI unlike most of the uh, render farms that you get out there uh, it should be fairly easy to set up and use as well so let's get started basically what you can see is we need to set up a shared folder so anywhere on your computer I'm just going to set it up in this folder for example's sake uh, anywhere in your computer if we just create a new folder and we'll call it uh, render farm um, and we need to share that out so if we right click it and go properties and go to the sharing tab and some of you may have a link here saying something along the lines of enable file sharing or something like that so just click that and just accept any messages it pops up with and we want to share this folder on the network leave the share name as default but remember it or you can copy it if you like so we'll copy that and we want to allow the users to change my files bear in mind this will let anyone on the network access this, this folder on your computer so as long as you're happy with that just click OK so now it's got a little hand under it which means it is shared so now if we go back to our server program and paste the name of the shared folder in there so that bit is done now we need to create a project folder so within the shared folder we'll create another folder and for example we'll call it project one and we don't need to share that out um, but let's just copy the file name there and paste it in here so now what we need to do is get your blender file and put it inside this folder. So grab your blender, your blender file, I'll quickly make one up. Um, bear with me while I do that. So if we just uh, literally just go file, save as, and if we save it inside that folder, project one, and we'll save it as untitled.blend, that'll do fine close blender but you can obviously use any blender file we've got copy the file name and paste it in there and now you tell the program from what frame to render to what frame to render so that's the default so there it is and now you can check to see if all the settings are correct so if you hit the check button it should tell you everything is correctly filled in so there we go if it's not make sure you have got everything right make sure all your settings are correct should be no reason why it won't work um, Okay, so now what we need to do, uh, if we go up a directory and just create a file in here, 
and you need to have your file extensions showing. Um, you can make them show by going Tools, Folder Options, View, scroll down a little bit, and uncheck Hide Extensions for Known File Types, and then click OK. So you need to create a file called whatever you like, but make sure it's a CSV file, so I'll call it comps.csv. Uh, yes, I do want to change it. And now if we open that up with uh, a notepad, or I've got Notepad++, which I highly recommend, great program. And now what we need to do is type the IP address of all of our client computers. Um, so I'm going to be using my desktop PC here. So to find out the IP address of your computer, go start, run, or if you don't have the run button there, you can push the Windows button and the R key together and it'll pop up the same box. Then type CMD, hit enter, and you'll get a command prompt box come up. Now in there you need to type ipconfig space forward slash all. Find your um, network adapter that you're using. So I'm using my Ethernet adapter. You might be using a wireless one or something like that. Um, so find your IP address. Mine is 192.168.0.5. So if you type that in here, 192.168.0.5. Um, and do that for every single client. So now find for your next client you'd have, for example, 192.168.0.6, comma, 192.168.0.7, or, or whatever the IP addresses are. But as I'm only using one computer, I'm going to just have one IP address in there. So now make sure you save that. And close the Notepad editor. And you want to browse for the CSV. So I saved it on my desktop in render farm, render farm, comps. So there you go, as you can see, my computer's IP address has been imported into there. And if you've got more than one client, you'll see a big list of them down there. Now, uh, all there is to do is launch the client program on each of your client computers. But as I'm using the same computer for the client and the server, um, I'm going to be just doing it here. So I'll launch the client. Um, but you need to do this on every single client computer you have. And you need to type in the path to the Blender executable. So that means you need to have Blender installed on every single client as well. So uh, the path to my Blender executable we see. Program files. Blender foundation. Blender. Blender.exe. Hit enter. And there you go, you might get a Windows security alert and just click unblock. Um, if you did get the file path wrong, don't worry, it'll just pop up and say. Uh, so there we go, the client is now configured. It's listening on the right port for connections from the server. Um, so once all of your clients are looking something like that, go back to your server computer and just hit start and everything should work. So there we go, as you can see, we are getting frames rendered, it's not giving me a chance to show you the client in progress, but there you go, Blender consoles will be popping up everywhere and um, rendering all the frames, um, and you can go back to the server, you see status, you see how many frames have been rendered, info on all the frames that have been rendered, you double click for a little bit more information, you can tell what computer rendered the frame, um, and you can see an overall progress bar, so if we just stop that now, yes, we'll cancel the job. There we go. So here is our client. As you can see, it received a job. That's its working folder. So this is on the remote PC. A Blender file name, the frame it's going to render. As um, soon as it's rendered, it will transfer it back to the server and wait for a new job. Um, so we scroll up. You can see it's gone through all of these frames successfully here. Uh, so we can close that now. And now once, once everything's done, you can go back into your shared folder, project, and you can see all the frames that have been rendered. So that is pretty much how to use my render farm. Um, you can obviously create more projects in here, uh, have a bigger list of um, computers and anything you like really. Uh, you've got to remember though, this program still is deeply in beta, uh, it, so there, there are a few bugs within it. Nevertheless, I'm always interested to see what you guys will do with it. So if you do use this software, head on over to my site, uh, leave a comment on the page or send me an email using the contact form so I can take a look at what you've done.
Thanks for watching. Hope the software is of uh, use to you. Catch you later.